So basically, um, what you're going to do is you're going to figure out, well, what direction did the bat fly into it? Always try to figure this out first, because otherwise you'll take the bat the wrong way out of the net. You want to then imagine the last thing that had happened was this, this bat hit, and, and the bum is what's free. So you're going to try to find that free bum, um, and just manipulating the net slightly. If the bat is fighting like that, make sure you secure it so it doesn't... Um, it might just pop out through a hole, for example, if it's bitten um, a hole. Okay, so now I'm gently holding this bat to see, well, did it really fly in from this direction? I should find a free bum somewhere if it did. If I do not find the free bum, it's possible it did fly in from the other other side, and I have to reassess and move to the other side of the net. Okay, what I'm finding here is a free tummy. Mm. Yep, so what that means is probably it's just the net's a little bit over his legs, so I gotta free the legs to see if I can find a free bum. Yep, there it is. So that was, this is the right side of the net then, and this is the direction the bat flew in. This is the last thing that entered in was his bum. So it's the first thing I gotta make sure I have free. There we go. So now I'm going to pull the bat slightly away from the net so it doesn't keep tangling. And now I need to take the net off of the bat like you would a sweater. Often that means taking it off the head first. Bring the head, and now I've got to take the net off the elbows and over the wrist, just like you would a sweater. Okay. Um, if, if you can, it's often a good idea to spread the wing a little bit gives you much better um, view of where the, the net is, where the strings are, that need to come up over the wrist and off the fingers. Okay, and once you get a wing secured, it's good to tuck it in beside the bat. So hopefully it won't tangle again. So now all I have to do is work on the other wing. Okay, one thing, um, this guy has a little bit of net Oh, there, yep, just around the mouth. Make sure you don't pull too hard because the net can be around their teeth. You don't want to accidentally break a tooth. There we go. So I've got the head free, I've got an arm free, and now I've got one more arm. Same principle. If you can spread the wing just a little bit, you'll be able to see much better where the threads are still. I need to get it over the elbow over the wrist and off the fingers. If it ever seems too tight, in fact, this is maybe a good teachable moment because it's, it's getting a little tight. Maybe I don't want to try and take it up over the wrist because I don't want to accidentally damage the fingers. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to take all of this net, pull it down. Seems a little counterintuitive. I'm going to put it all down by the body. And then the wing can spread out fully and I can get a much better sense of what I need to do and everything's kind of loose now. And I can start a much more uh, easy process of taking the net um, over the elbow and then over the wrist. Um, okay. If ever, because this actually looks like this is the case and this has happened in uh, the other night too to us, is if the bat has turned itself at any point, you might have to turn the bat a little bit just to untwist the string. So there's a lot less tension when I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna actually work at this direction because I find far less tension to get those strings now over the wrist. Okay, and just make sure it's not caught on the thumb. Everything comes off the end of wow. the fingers. Wow. <laughs> You make it look so easy. You make it look so easy. Okay, and then of course when you're done, you're going to put him in a bag. Now notice he's grabbing onto my glove, right? And remember, we can't blow on the bats anymore, but if that ever happens, just like that, you can hold the back end of the bat. He thinks he's going to fly away, so he's going to let go of your glove. And then secure him in a way that you can, thank you, hold him in some easy, do you want uh, me to let go? Position. Yeah, sure, that's good. Like this, okay, is a good one to put into the bag because the wings then are secure against the side of the body and pretty easy then to just place him into the bag. We often 
cup the top of the bag just so that you don't crawl back out. And remember then once you pull your drawstring, you're not done. <laughs> right, tie the loop so that they don't come back out.